<laughs> We've still had it for an hour. Why are you forced to wait? Oh! Honey, they're not gonna hurt you. No, but I don't want to jump back at you. Ah! <laughs> What's going on, guys? Last weekend, last Sunday, we had an amazing phone call. A dude in Tampa named Steve called me up. We had a fish rescue going on. <coughs> He's moving to Arizona. He called me up and said, I need you to take my fish. So, roughly about 80 fish got collected Sunday. Um, in this video, I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you what happened to the fish, where I put them. Um, part of the rescue, unfortunately, the battery died in the camera. I wasn't quite prepared. It's the first, it's the third fish rescue I've gone on. The first real big one that had to do is something other than goldfish. Um, this one was all mainly cichlids. There was two different lakes of cichlids. He had three tanks. Um, one was from one lake, one was from another lake, um, and then he had some catfish, some plecos, and silver dollars, tetras, random little stuff in another tank. Um, really an experience. Um, had a lot of fun. Now I get to try and figure out how to separate these guys out and breed them. Um, once I get them breeding, probably put them up on up on a Facebook page or something for sale. Um, got guppies, mollies, everything else coming along. Bettas are about a month and a half, two months old at this point. They're not quite ready yet. They still like little, look like little tadpoles. Um, yep, mollies. Sailfin molly fry are getting kind of big. They're not close to even breeding size yet. They uh, from nine six. They're babies. Um, but yeah, I'm with fish rescue. Here comes the video. Thanks, guys. Oh, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, comment. The more activity I get on these videos, the more Facebook algorithms push them out to other people. So. If you're watching this, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, just take the second, go over, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't take much. It really helps out. Have a great day. Oh, let go. Call me. Is the tank still available? I went, no. <laughs> right. I'm done. I mean, even if you wanted to buy the fish, I'm just like, no, I'm not going to start this whole thing. So, so is this one, is that one in the corner there? That one I'm going to start breaking down yet, but that's just one piece that comes out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we still had it for an hour. Why are you forced to wait? <laughs> this is a good idea, too. You guys are full of code. You built this yourself? I didn't actually build the tank on this one, but the stand I did. The one in the garage I'm actually built, I'm building myself. The boats that I've done, the through window, I put half inch plate or half inch acrylic in there. And, um, and it's gonna start filling the tank back up. I've got it all set up, automatically filled, all tied to the plumbing. Yeah, how did you? 
What do you do? You put a float valve on the house plumbing? Yep. It's that simple. Yeah, I basically use the toilet tank uh -huh. kit in the sump. So when the water the sump gets down too low, it automatically fills it back up. And I've got a overflow drain. So if something malfunctions, it'll drain off. And if it goes too high, I have a metronic switch that shuts off the valve, meaning it's filling up too much for some right. reason. So it can't overflow. What are you doing? We were so happy. What are you doing all this for? Let's do a little squish anybody. Oh, that was attached to rocks. Here's a towel paper when you get out. Okay. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> you like being an accident major. That's like in Pennsylvania. From Pennsylvania, we turn around and anytime we go anywhere, grab rocks. <laughs> Huge rocks. Are there oh. up, up that way? Got a loach. Over. My dad lives on a mountain, and we have a ton of um, what they call mountain rock or field rocks. Mm -hmm. So you have the big ones. Sorry. <laughs> uh oh. Two more in there. Oh. Settle down. No cricket. No. Don't be a carrier right now. Another one in there. Wow. Come here. Coffee clown were in there. There he goes. Honey, they're not gonna hurt you. No, but I don't want them to jump back at you. Ah! Don't take it, don't, don't, don't eat it. <laughs> She's a terrier, so I'm telling you, through and through. And those are the ones you really don't want to touch. They're not scales, they're skin. Yeah. Do you need tweezers or something? No. That'd be alright. Pan for now. Come here. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else in here? Wow. You said they hide in there. Well, do you need you want more space? Do you want me to take this to the garage or something? Yeah, she can take it outside. Yeah. I don't. I'm afraid to sit her down right now. She's fine. She can't hear anything. She'll go She'll after go a fish. Down in here, but that was, yeah. That's funny. They're all three in there. Yep. Oh. So I flip it around a little bit. You can turn them off. Let's see, maybe do one more flip to the other side. You can. I wasn't expecting <laughs> three of them. <laughs> one I wasn't surprised at, but three? Yep. I don't see anybody in there. They're all three clown lunches. That's funny. <laughs> well, they, they, said we're gonna get they told outside. me they school, so. Oh, that's why, that's, that's why I got them, because um, you can't have any other fish in there. Um, but there's so many different colors, which is kind of cool. Yeah. What is that one? Is that a sickle too, a striped one?
get out of your way. Right. here and pet you which is what I know you want. How many gallons is that thing in there? That? Yeah, there's little bitties in here too. Colin Pleco. That guy's just cool. They all like hiding back there. This is fish rescue tank number one. Tank number Of course, the angelfish has got to be the camera hog. Oh, brown bull hog, bull, bull head. Mosquito fish, five line raft in the back. Silver dollar, and one of the spotted rafts was also part of the fish rescue.